Today we are going to see how to deploy Angular application to AWS S3 bucket. It's very simple and we follow here very simple four steps to do this particular job. So very first step we'll be going to creating a, or building an Angular application which we are going to deploy and then later we move to AWS and then create an S3 bucket where we wanted to deploy this application and that S3 bucket will be going to configure in detail so that how it can act as an, a static web page hosting platform for our application and then we'll go and deploy and see the result let's get started without further ado so first let me go to the uh, an application uh, i just created an, a sample application which will be just uh, hosting an, an angular hello world kind of an application or uh, let's see um, this is my application which i created as an example let me so let me go to the terminal and open the new terminal and let me build this application and run this so npm start will do that for me so it will take a couple of seconds to build and uh, keep it runnable so ng service is a module which will help us to uh, run this application on the server so if you can see that uh, the application is getting built and 93% uh, and here you go so the application is built and now we can copy this link okay copy the link go to the web browser and see how it looks here you go the sample application to demo the AWS S3 usage. So this is what I have built. So to cross check, let me go to the application and see the component or the component and check HTML where I have uploaded C. So here you go, the sample application to demo the usage. So let me make some changes and see what happens. Here are the changes and I save the file. You can see that the UI is updated. So we are good with the first step, which is having an application. So this application cannot be directly deployed without uh, building it. So we need to build this application with, with, before we use. So let me stop this application which is running and let me build using the ng build command. So when you hit this command, it can see on the left hand side, it will create in a new directory called di distribution and then that can be used for deployment. So let me refresh and see how it is building. Here you go. This is the distribution build. So this is the package which will be going to deploy into S3 bucket. So now that we, our app is ready, let me go to the S3 bucket and see how we can create and configure. So hope you everybody have the uh, AWS account and if not, we can have some other session to know how to create that. So this is the AWS account and console. I am going to click on the S3. You can click from here or you can search it from here. So it will be easier if you're not used. So this is better. Click on the S3 bucket. So this is my uh, S3 uh, service. So here I want to create a new bucket to launch my Angular application. So let's click on the create bucket. And here you have to provide the bucket name. So I think you know that the bucket name should be unique so let's make uh, a unique name my angular app for s3 and this is my bucket name and uh, block all the public access so we have to uncheck this one so that uh, the pages from the s3 bucket can be accessed by the uh, anonymous users so when i turn on i need to just acknowledge that and then bucket versioning everything let's keep default and let's click on the create bucket here you go so we have a bucket called uh, my angular app for s3 so let's go insert the bucket and see so this is an empty right now so let's bring our application files to this bucket so to bring that one from there to here so go to the samples and distribution list and sample and said that these are the applic application files generated after the ng build let's select all or maybe i can select the path 
and go back here and click on the upload right add files give the full path and here we go select all the files say open so all the files are selected and let me say upload so it will take a couple of seconds here you go so files are uploaded successfully so now the files are uploaded and we have to configure the s3 bucket to act as an uh, as web static hosting platform so to do that first of all we need to uh, go to the properties and then come almost all to the bottom and see there is a field called static website hosting so click on the edit and if you have to see here we have to enable this only when you enable this will allow you to act your s3 bucket as a website hosting platform so now host a static website and then it will ask you to provide the the first um, landing page so that is our index page um, so index.html page so for um, avoiding the uh, errors so we'll use the, even the error message index.html so that you no need to uh, worry about the error handling and it will also help you to avoid the refresh issues okay here you go and then save the changes successfully updated great so let's see uh, now we have the files into the s3 bucket and also we have configured the s3 bucket properties uh, as per the static website enablement and we have the object and also all the required files so if you go to the properties again to the bottom of the page right where the static website hosting is set so this is a path where we'll be looking for our applications to be launched so let me copy the link address go to this web browser and paste this and see here you go so there is an issue called 403 forward an issue so it means our s3 bucket is still not allowing the allowing the end user to access even after enabling the public access so the s uh, the aws has made a little uh, more configuration to make it uh, more public and user so we if you see those policies right so we have to apply a particular policy to ensure that this s3 bucket is public so there is a one specific uh, policy which will dictate that so it can be um, allowed to use uh, the anonymous user so here you go so granting and read only permission to the anonymous user so this is the policy we just need to copy this policy from here and go back to the s3 bucket and go to the permissions under the permissions uh, if, you, if you see that the object can be public but we have to just apply the policy so here is the bucket policy so click on the edit policy and then paste this policy over here so this policy expect the bucket name to be updated so let me copy my bucket name from here and then let me update over here okay so this is the policy um, and let me save the changes so now that we have updated the policy and if you can see that the the uh, s3 bucket is now publicly accessible so if you see that uh, there is an uh, indication that the s3 bucket is now public so with this enabled let's refresh the page and see the behavior so help uh, now the things yeah here you go so now we can see that sample application to demo the aws s3 s3 usage is now launching from the aws s3 bucket so this was from the local host and this is from the aws s3 bucket so this is the entire journey of how do you launch the complete uh, angular application into s3 bucket and how do you access how do you give access to the end user through access permission thank you for watching the video and see you with the uh, next amazing video